Now the curtain of the Gulf Screen Guild Theater is ready to rise on the second act of Waterloo Bridge. Adapted by Charles Taswell and starring Joan Fontaine as Myra Lester and Brian Ahern as Captain Roy Cronin. It's three months later, September 1917. Myra was discharged from the ballet when she returned to the theater after saying goodbye to Roy at Waterloo Station. And Kitty, her roommate, quit her place out of loyalty. They're now living in a shabby third-rate rooming house in a cheap neighborhood. Myra is just coming in. Hello, Kitty. Well, what luck? Did you get the job? No. It was filled. I had a hunch it would be. They said they put me on the waiting list. Oh, my. What are we going to do? Oh, I don't know. We can't get jobs in the show. We can't seem to get jobs anywhere. I'm getting scared. I've never been scared before. I don't like it. Look. Why don't you write your captain? And tell Roy we're out of work? No, that we're broke. Flat broke. Oh, no, I can't do it, Kitty. Maybe I've got a stupid sort of pride about it, but... Oh, let's wait a little longer. Something must turn up. It's got to. All right. Say, there's a letter for you on the table. A letter? Mm Mm-hmm. Kitty, it's from Roy. Well, well, what does he say? Kitty, his mother's coming to London. What? Yes, he wants me to meet her on Thursday, one o'clock, that little tea room just off the Strand. Kitty, just imagine, his mother. What will I do? You'll meet her, of course. Yes, but I wonder, will she like me? Tea while you're waiting? No, oh, thank you. I, I'm sure she'll be here any minute. Perhaps you'd like to look at the evening paper. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope she'll like me. She must like me. American troops moving up. I wonder what he's told her about me. Battle rages in Cam- uh, Cambrai sector. What will I say to her? time my back turned to get pneumonia. Kitty. Here. Put this hot water bottle at your feet. Kitty. Hmm? How did your show go tonight? Oh, same as usual. Um, have you written Roy's mother and explained why you didn't wait at the tea room to see her? That you've been sick in bed ever since? No. There's no reason why I should trouble her. If Roy's dead, there's no tie between us. Did you have a good house at the show? Hmm? So, so. Why? You didn't ask me why I went out. I went to the theater. I thought I'd surprise you. You weren't there. Oh. Well, I... I didn't want to worry you, Myra. I'm not in that show anymore. I've got another job. They told me you were never in that show. How have we been living? What's the difference as long as we live? Where has the money come from, Kitty? Where have you been getting it? Just where you think I've been getting it. Mara, I've tried to keep it from you, but... You did it for me! No, I didn't. I'd have done it anyhow. You did it for me to get me food and medicine. I'd soon have died! No, you wouldn't. You think so, but you wouldn't. I want to go on living, and so do you. We're both young, and it's good to live. Oh, Kitty, how could you do it? They are here. No jobs, no boys who want to marry you. Only men who want to kill a few hours because they know it may be their last. Oh, Kitty. What? I suppose you think I'm... Oh, no, no. Who am I to judge? Haven't you kept me alive and fed me and sheltered me? Oh, Kitty, Kitty. What's become of us? What are we going to do? Yes, her name is Myra. Call this number and ask if she's got a friend. Oh. 
buddy. The look of a girl named Myra at the Tivoli Dance Hall. She'll cheer you up. Hello, Myra. The armistice brought you luck. No, Gertie. What a piece. It makes little difference to us. There's a lot of military police about today. You better be careful. Oh, thanks. Well, the train's in. Here they come. Cheerio, Myra. Hello, soldier. Welcome home, soldier. Hello. Welcome home, corporal. Hello, handsome. Myra. Welcome home, Myra. sergeant. Myra. Hello. Myra. 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 Myra, I can't believe it. Oh, Myra. Myra, it is you. It is you. It's really you. Oh, right. Here, here, let me look at you. Oh, I'm not dreaming, am I? Oh, Oh, to think of finding you, waiting for me. What? Why, it's a miracle. Oh, Roy, Roy. I'm alive. Yes, yes, I'm extravagantly alive. Oh, the months I've waited for this moment. I've begun to think it would never come. How did you know I was coming? Did you telephone to Mother? No, no, darling. None, none of that, darling. It's over, darling. It's all over. It's all over. We're together. But they said I read in the paper. Didn't you know I was indestructible? Why, how could I die when you were waiting for me to come back? I've been in a prison camp for the best part of a year. Head wound, nearly passed out. That's why I couldn't write you. But now everything's all right. Oh, yes, yes. Everything's all right. Oh, I, I've got a thousand questions to ask you. What have you been up to? Are you still dancing? Oh, right. Oh, Roy. Darling, have, have things been terribly bad? Oh, very bad. And I wasn't here to help you. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. But I'll make it up to you. Why, you're, you're never going to cry again. Except with happiness. Oh, if only I'd known you were alive. Since you were in the world. I'll never leave you again, Mara. Never. No, mind, darling. Now, now, then, Miss Lester, I have a program. I'm a man of action. I'm going to telephone Mother that we'll both be up to the country on the evening train. <laughs> and in the meantime, we'll be married at St. Matthew's Church. Roy, no. Darling, what is it? You, you, you're not giving me the sack, are you? There isn't someone else. Oh, no, Roy. There isn't anyone else. There couldn't be. Mother. I've never loved anyone else. I never shall. That's the truth, Roy. That's all I want to know. <laughs> now, come on, darling. Come along. We're going to do some shopping. Then you go home and get packed while I make some arrangements. <laughs> Believe it or not, darling, we're going to be married by nothing less than a bishop. Kitty. Kitty, I know what you're thinking, but I can't give him up. I won't give him up. I'm going to marry him and devote the rest of my life to making him happy. Yes? And where are you going to hide? Hide? Where can you live with him where you won't be afraid of someone stopping you to say, Hello, Myra, what luck? Oh, I don't care, Kitty. I've got a right to live and I'm going to take it. I wasn't thinking of you, Myra. I was thinking of Roy. Roy? His family, his career. Do you think it's fair to him? But, but I love him. Oh, Myra, darling, I'd rather see you happy than anything in the world. But could you bear to see his love turning to hate? Could you face him as his eyes cursed the day he met you? Myra, why are you staring at me? Thank you. Myra, where are you going? Oh, I've got to think. I want to be sure. 